Hello, I'm Tim Fisher. Welcome to the Maples History Center on the third floor of the King Family Library. Let me tell you about a real Appalachian woman, Abby Melissa Myers. She was born in Blount County, Tennessee on 9 May 1882, the fifth child of twelve born to Thomas Richard Myers and Melinda Elizabeth McFalls. Abby and her family moved to Sevier County around 1890 with a stop in the Rowan Fork area where her father, T.R. Myers, is credited with designing and building the Alfred Reagan House that still stands today in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Then moving on to the area near Greenbrier, Hills Creek, that is inside the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and now called the Myers Holler. Abby and her family used herbs for doctoring cooking like most mountain po people did. Little known fact about our mountain people was that they had been growing and using hemp for many years. It was used in all kinds of things, clothing, ropes, and often for medicinal purposes. The medical powers of mar marijuana are legendary since ancient times. Many cultures, including our own mountain folk, used it for various aches and pains. Abby, when in her late teens to early twenties, got a job in Knoxville working as a housekeeper for a doctor. She would cook and clean and later she'd be asked to help the doctor with seeing to, to some of his patients. To get to Knoxville on Sunday, she would walk from the home place in the Myers Harlow to Elkmont to catch the train to Knoxville and then on Friday she would catch the train back to Elkmont and walk back home. If you were to measure it the way the crow flies, it would be about five miles. But walking it, it was about 15 miles up and down hills. She had to follow trails as there were very few roads at the time. After having worked for the doctor, Abby started helping in the community as a midwife. A neighbor was having her tenth child and Abby was there helping her. The baby was born dead and the mother was in bad shape. The mother told Avi that if she died, that Avi had to promise her she would take care of her children. The mother did pass away, and Avi upheld her promise. About six months after the death, Avi and the father, Bascom Fisher, married. Avi raised the children as her own. She and Bascom went on to have three sons. Avi's husband, Bascom, died 3 November 1941. When World War II was going on, Abby and Bascom had six sons serving in the military. Two were in the Navy and the other four were in the Army. Glenn Cardwell remembered as the boys were away in the service, you could go by Abby's home and hear Abby praying for her son's safe return. She was a real prayer warrior, Glenn Cardwell said. One stepson was badly burnt but all six returned home. But Abby lived for another 30 years, dying at the age of 88, 9 January 1971. She exemplified what we call Mountain Strong, Abby Melissa Myers Fisher, a real Appalachian woman. You can find a lot of interesting things about our ancestors and places at the King Family Library, His Maples History Center in downtown Sevierville, Looking forward to seeing you.